up, up, and away. So we're in the parking area. Walking the road for a little bit till we get to the trailhead. going to the Blueberry Ledge Trail up to Whiteface and beyond. That big tall one in the distance, that's Whiteface. So we're headed there. Still walking the road. There's white face on the left. And I'm not sure what these other ones are. They're too small to be on a list. Although they do look pretty big from here. We get to walk by the person's house here. who may or may not like the fact that everybody parks here and then walks by their house. Probably about halfway up Whiteface. Getting a few views off in the distance. There's a trail sign or a cross if you happen to believe in that type of omen. So we're about three quarters of the way up and it's been climbing and climbing and we got more climbing to do after this but there's a little bit of a view believe it or not there we go I think that lake in the distance there is Squam Lake we're looking south southeast from here Getting really close to the top. You get to go up there in a minute. But we got some views. I believe that's Winnipesaukee off in the distance there. It's just gonna get nicer. Okay, we get to try to figure out how to navigate this somehow. That'll be fun. Mount Washington in the distance. There. One straight ahead is Mount Passaconaway, another 4,000 footer. Over there is Mount Chakura, which is a really nice hike. Then back to Squam Lake, I think, and then Winnipesaukee over there. That could be Squam Lake. Anyway, this is, I'm pretty sure, the southernmost 4,000 footer. All right, so we're finally at actually the best viewing area, which is almost, almost the top of Whiteface. So, again, you can see south of us with the lakes. Mountain ranges surrounding Winnipesaukee. What the wilderness is like. 
I'll share some of this trail. Out where people don't go often. These are called bunchberry. And there it is. The reason why we hike summit of the 100 highest peaks in New England with a beautiful view oh there's Nancy there's the beautiful view there's a partial view you can't see but I think I can show it to you on the way back slightly more open from here bring that up big hump behind the tree there is where we came from that's white base so we climbed down that and then up here just so we could say we were there okay this wasn't the goal for today but since we're here this is the actual summit of Mount white face nothing other than a few rocks that tell you that as we get in other other places and as you can see, this is not the appeal for most people coming up here. But, if you want to be official, this is as far as you need to go. So, I always like walking, you know, at the top of a ridge line. But it's grown in, so you can't really see out either side. But, you get the sunshine. Usually the hiking's relatively easy for a little bit until it starts going downhill so for the return trip we decided we weren't gonna go back down the uh, white face or actually the blueberry whatever it is trail so we're gonna go around and we get close to Pass a kind of way over there and then head down that way. So let's call this bonus views. That's Pass a kind of way. And off in the distance over there is Chakura. So we may get a better view of this eventually, but that's the Mount Whiteface ridge line that we came up. Can't quite see the top. But it was challenging. All right, so there's the ridge line that we came up. Along that, and across the top, and unfortunately behind the trees is the actual official top. But yeah, like I said, 